Hello, everyone, and welcome to this bonus episode of Flashpoint Friday. Why is it a bonus episode, you may ask? Because what I have here, what the randomizer picked for me, I should say, is not a game. It is what is referred to as a microsite, which is basically a page on a website. And I guess probably because they don't have an appropriate category for these, um, Flashpoint places these under games. So every so often, I'll get microsites that crop up in the randomizer instead of actual games. But I thought it would be interesting to at least check it out. So we have a microsite here for Stelvio Grotesque and Italian Swiss style typeface. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, um, this website is also still available online. Here it is in my web browser, and I will be coming back to this at the end, so be sure to stick around for that. But um, it was archived anyway on Flashpoint, which was a good idea. Um, I think it is a good idea that they preserve these microsites as well, because microsites come and go quite quite frequently, since they're often just meant to promote products, and once the once the said product has run its course, they usually take the site down. But in any case, I, I just thought it would be kind of interesting to go through this, and because I really like the way this is designed. It's very dynamic. I am scrolling with the mouse wheel right now, and you'll see how the words go, how certain certain words are in front and behind of the typeface I, uh, picture there. I'm not going to read all this stuff. It's basically just like a biography of like the creator and how this particular font came to be. And it shows examples from various, like you've got a David Bowie album here and, you know, record covers. It's the Adam Frutiger. Once again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. The guy who created the type fonts like these. And I mean, I'm no, I mean, type fonts is something I don't really pay attention to. It's probably a lot of people don't consciously pay attention to, but, but the way it's presented here is you know, pretty neat. Um, basically all of these pictures and stuff are moving as a result of me scrolling with the mouse wheel. Like this transition here, if I start scrolling back up, it'll go back. So you can go back and forth. You can see, well, I, I'm not sure how well you can see here, but there's a scroll bar here. You, you can also manipulate it with that if you want to go faster. But I'll just scroll with the mouse wheel. So, got like for a national park. And I don't know, I just really like the way this microsite was laid out. It's very, like I said, uh, dynamic. It's, uh, it keeps your attention, right? Such, even for maybe a relatively dry, some might even consider it a boring topic, like fonts and typefaces. Even though it is very important, I mean, it's what we use to communicate. It's one of our main forms of communicating, uh, especially online, after all. But I'll just keep on scrolling... Character sets. It's got some posters. I don't know. Maybe you can order these. Let's, let me go back for a second. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's for sale or not, but presumably the, probably they show these to clients and such because this sort of microsite is not really meant for, like, individual users. It's meant for, like, companies and organizations and such that might be in search of a certain style of type font and such. And okay, there we go. We've gotten to the bottom of the page. If you click the chapters button, it basically allows you to jump around to where we were before. And this is kind of neat. Uh, when you mouse over the different chapters, there's a corresponding image that follows the cursor and it changes with each chapter. So that's kind of neat. And if you click the buy font on here, it'll take you to a dead link because this is like a Flashpoint archived version. But if you go to the actual website and you click buy font, it'll take you to this because this website, because this microsite uh, went up in 2020. So 
they're still actively selling this product. But this is why I say this is kind of more for businesses and organizations because uh, um, I think this might, because, you know, the currency is in euros here. Um, I mean, see, I don't think it's 80,000. I think the comma is meant to be a period or is like a stand in for a period. I know that sometimes foreign uh, websites will use a comma instead of a period because paying $80,000 for a font seems excessive. Um, <laughs> but 80 is a lot for an individual to ask for. But that's why I think this is meant for companies and organizations and such. But so it's a very business, a very kind of dry business oriented website and such. But in spite of that, they did a really impressive job, I felt, with the website design. Um, I just thought it was kind of neat. And but it's not a game. So despite the interactivity with the with the mouse wheel and the scroll bar and such. It is not a game. So that's why this this doesn't count as a regular episode. This is just a bonus episode. Anyway, hopefully you got something out of this. But thank you so much for tuning in to this bonus episode of Flashpoint Friday. And take care, everyone.